In this tutorial, I will show you how to export data from Revit using Tracer and how to access that data in Power BI. The first step will be to navigate to the Proving Ground tab and selecting Tracer Exporter. This will pull up a settings menu. There are options for preset settings where you can select everything, including non-visible data, rooms, areas, and spaces, and shell and structure. These will come preloaded with the download. You can also create and store your own settings. Underneath 3D export settings, you'll notice that bounding box for large meshes is unchecked. This will allow meshes of any size to be exported, but you'll want to make sure that your file is optimized for the best experience. Smoothness is also set to 0.1. This really helps in the overall visual and as it notes, higher values for smoothness can cause the export to take longer. So this is really optimized for your best experience in our preset. You can see the different categories of data that are going to be exported below. You have the option to select all, select none, and to search for things like walls, for example, in this search bar. We'll leave everything checked for this export. You also have the option to export additional content, like line styles and warnings. And if you need help, you can select this button below, which will take you to our documentation. It looks like everything is all set. So we're going to go ahead and click export. This will allow us to choose a location where we can save the database. I'm going to put it in a location where I can access it easily later. Let's call this test export tutorial. Now that the file has popped up, you can tell that it's finished and it's 95,000 kilobytes. Now that we have the database created, we can open Power BI. The first thing that we need to do in Power BI is open up our Proving Ground template. We'll go to Browse Reports, change the file type to PBI template, and in this case we'll select a blank tracer template. You'll be prompted to add a file path. We'll want to pull up the location where we saved the database, right-click on it, and copy as path. When we go back into Power BI, we can paste using Control-V and hit Load. We'll select Windows to authenticate and use my current credentials. Then we can click Connect. All right, we can check to make sure that the data is imported correctly by selecting the data and selecting tables to see what all is loaded. So you can see we've used one document. So there's one line of information for document. Checking something like category will yield many more lines of data. So it looks like everything loaded properly really quickly. We'll drop our Tracer visual onto the canvas. Resize it. And add our data to the geometry area. You can see that Power BI is loading. And now the Proving Ground visual is loading. And there we go. All of our data is loaded and we're able to orbit around and see it in Power BI.